So today we're going to do a slightly different type of video just for fun. We're going to go to lunch and maybe do a little bit of shopping and check out Gemini 2.0 together. Google released Gemini 2.0 this week and it's mind blowing to me. It's no wonder why their stock went up like almost 10%. They said their new model is almost twice as fast as their previous model and this release particularly focused on their agentic features. Agentic to me means the AI can use tools and you know make decisions on their own to complete some tasks that you give to them. If you're a developer you can use the Gemini API and try out Jules, their AI coding agent. And they said that as part of this release, they're improving Project Astra and Project Marina, sort of like their version of Anthropic's computer use. I'm on the wait list, so I can't really test that. What I could test though is something really, really super cool that I'm gonna show you while we have lunch together. So this is the Gemini app, but this is not where you want to go. What you want to do is open up your browser and I'm here at this aistudio.google.com and what you want to do is go to stream real time. Gemini, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help you today? What is this, Gemini? That is a white cup with a light brown liquid inside. Is there anything else I can help you with? It's kind of funny they said this is a light brown liquid. I guess they can't taste it so they don't know that it's tea. Gemini, do you think this is a hot beverage or a cold beverage? The cup is steaming so it is likely a hot beverage. Oh, is there did. anything else I can help you with? What should I order for lunch today? You should look at the menu that is on the table to see what appeals to you. The menu includes a variety of cold and hot appetizers as well as skewer options. Would you like to know more about any of the sections? What is this? That looks like a bowl of miso soup with a spoon in it. Is there anything else you need help with? What is the item I should pick that has the lowest calories but is the most filling? Based on the menu you sent, the steam edamame appetizer has the lowest price and would likely be the lowest calorie option. <laughs> I cannot speak on its filling capacity though. Would you like any other recommendations? I can see a wooden board with an assortment of sushi. Can you tell me what sushi this one is? Certainly. The piece of sushi that is being pointed at with chopsticks is salmon nigiri. What am I doing right now? Certainly, you are picking up a small amount of wasabi with your chopsticks. I'm gonna eat my meal now. Great, enjoy your meal. This is so cute. Look at this, it has two layers. <laughs> That we're done with lunch, we're gonna go do shopping. I don't know how other people do it, but honestly, I'm filming this short video and I feel so embarrassed. Like, I keep thinking that people are staring at me, that I'm like strange or something. But I've always wanted to make one. <laughs> you live only once, so I'm gonna just do what I want. Gemini, are there any harmful ingredients in this lotion? Hey Gemini, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? Are there any harmful ingredients in this lotion? It's hard to say definitively if there are harmful ingredients in the lotion you're showing. The ingredients list includes many chemical names, and whether an ingredient is considered harmful can depend on individual sensitivities and the concentration of the substance. 
Some ingredients, like fragrance, can be irritating for some people, while others may be allergens. If you're worried about specific ingredients, I recommend consulting a dermatologist. So this is not very helpful. Gemini, can you tell me about the active ingredients here? Hey Gemini, can you tell me about the active ingredients here? This is pretty. Sangria wrapping paper. Can you hear me, Gemini? What character is this? Okay, that is Lucy and Charlie Brown from the Peanuts comic strip. They are on a roll of wrapping paper. What about this one? What character are these? That roll has several serial characters on it. I see Hello Kitty, Cinema Roll, and Kirapi, all wearing winter hats. After testing Gemini in real life setting, I realized that it's not good if you have a loud background. If they're playing loud music, Gemini just doesn't seem to work. I don't think it's distinguishing the background music and all the noises as well yet. Hey Gemini, can you remember everything that's on the screen? Yes, I can remember everything on the screen. It shows the back of a yellow box of Ricola sugar-free lemon mint throat drops. Can you tell me what's the address? The address for questions or comments is Ricola USA Inc. Distributor. 6 Campus Drive, 2nd Floor South. That was kind of fun earlier, right? But what I learned is that Google Gemini, the live stream feature that I was using, you should not be using it when you have loud background music because it doesn't really work that well. My connections keep disconnecting. In a quiet space, it's better. I don't know if it's because too many people were using it or whatnot. Overall, I'm very impressed. It's kind of like how when Google had that image translation, the instant translation, but now it's video. It's even better than before. I can't imagine in one year what I'm going to see. People are scared about AI and I am a little bit too but I think rather than being scared learn it because who knows what I can create right with it I can probably make robots by myself in the future as long as you have the idea and you have the drive and passion to do it you can figure out anything you can learn anything from AI so don't be scared is my advice to anybody. That's it for today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me make more videos in the future. Thanks so much. See you next time.